the best PEDs for getting shredded. Okay, now that's a question that's going to be determined by the athlete or the individual that's actually responding to a certain PED as far as genetic translation and genetic predisposition, number one, and what side effects or have you that they could be caused by using a certain PED. If they're positioned and leveraged in a bad position as far as the PED giving them the side effect for the desired effect, no matter if it's a DHT derivative, a 19 nor derivative, or stimulants, or thyroid medication, or a beta-2 agonist like clenbuterol, or beta-1, 2, or 3 like ephedrine, if the side effects are going to outweigh the benefits or the ROI on what it is that they're usually, you know, as far as it being deleterious, then that attribute of that PED is probably not going to be efficient. As far as the metabolism goes of the individual and how the diet and cardio is working, and that's going to be number one as far as the basis goes. The PEDs are just basically icing on the cake or keeping the endocrine system from being not as suppressed and optimal. So optimization is the key for your endocrine system as far as using something exogenous or exogenous hormones to upregulate the metabolism for the athlete to get shredded to begin with. So an example would be something more fast acting. If it's a testosterone derivative uh, with faster acting esters, that could be a possibility. Another thing would be the DHT derivatives, less aromatous, meaning it doesn't convert over into estrogen or aromatize into estrogen. Is it already being a dihydrotestosterone derivative because it already goes through that 5-alpha reduction into dihydrotestosterone? The best things for recomping, in my opinion, would be something like drostonolone or a 19 nor derivative like trembolone acetate. But again, it boils down to if the athlete has the genetic predisposition to accept these drugs without having the repercussions of deleterious side effects and issues.